everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is a beautiful morning today in Bristol. Sun is shining. Can you see it? Maybe not. And I am just jogging down to the start of Bristol 10K, which I'm a little bit nervous about. And it's also like, freezing but i think you can't really get hot in a in a in a 10k race oh it's kitty's park run yay i love that they don't have an adult park run in uh in our local park they do have a kids one always tempted to join pretend my dog is my child <laughs> anyway i'm on my way to bristol 10k i signed up for this ages ago when i actually thought this was going to be halfway through a training block as it stands, I have not done any training for this and thus I'm going to use it as a benchmark 10k. I had pretty high hopes for it yesterday but then last night I slept extremely badly. I had a bit of a uh, bad night and I woke up this morning much 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 more tired than I would like for race day um, or really for any day and so I'm just going to give it my best shot also as you can see I'm running there then I'm going to do the 10k and then I'm running back so it's kind of part of a longer run but I'll still give it my best shot and see how we do at uh, road races and so I didn't know like Tokyo Marathon we had to turn up like two hours in advance whereas here I was kind of like it's a road race so there's going to be thousands of people doing it but also it's only a 10k and it's only Bristol only Bristol Bristol's great but I did not know what time to turn up so anyway I'm here a little bit early I'm glad that I brought my uh, waterproof to stay warm because it's chilly this morning, it's nine degrees, perfect running weather, beautifully sunny. Um, it's not gonna get above like 10, 11 degrees for the race, which is super, actually, it's really good because uh, it's gonna be hot, I think, for running that fast. I have invited a couple of my friends to come and race as well, so we're gonna be seeing them in a minute. It's Amy and Esme from Try Run For Love 3. So the one that I did in 2019 and they have moved to Bristol recently, which is really cool. This is where I've ended up for my pre-run, pre-run amble. So I kind of wanted very briefly to mention what happened last night. So I had my first panic attack in 15 years and that is why I did not sleep at all because I had literally no reason so I'm, I'm absolutely fine but it was just kind of surprising and I do not know why it happened and I hope that it doesn't happen again because it was really not ideal. I feel much better having run down here because it was a little bit a little bit concerning. I just, I don't know, I feel like I had to tell you guys that. Not as an excuse for doing an awful race, because hopefully I won't be doing an awful race, but that is why I probably look like I haven't had any sleep and certainly feel like I haven't had any sleep. I am knackered. That's that. Hopefully all will be fine. And yeah, having run here, I feel so much better. So I'm gonna go find my friends now and then I'm gonna line up on the start line and then we're gonna run. Give us a wave! Give us a wave! Yeah! It's 45 minutes, so I'm sticking with him and seeing how it goes. It's exciting. I haven't done a road race in four years. <laughs> Fun. So 
I used to live right around the corner from here, so it's quite fun to be running here again. Uh, it takes me a few kilometers to warm up at the start. Usually it takes me like 15 kilometers, but we don't have 15k today, so hopefully it'll take a little bit less than that. Um, as your heart rate goes up from like 80 at the start line, gets yanked all the way up to 160 plus. So, so it's a little bit uncomfortable at the start, hoping to settle into it a little bit. Like I do with intervals, because when I'm doing interval training, my first one's always the slowest, and then they get better from there. So hopefully that'll happen. Yeah, nice atmosphere here. It's really lovely. Good time, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> Let's go, fast people! Go, fast people! <laughs> you. Just heading around Queen Square, you get your nice little tour of Bristol Harbour side. It's beautiful, isn't it? Especially in the sunshine. I was just getting upset about the uh, abundance of cobbles. And I just had to remind myself, for a, you're a trail runner. Get over it. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> it's flat. Uh, so, just different in road shoes, isn't it? We're on the wiggly part of the course now, wiggling round. And then, once we start to go back, I'm going to try and push on a tiny bit. Definitely starting to get tired. Ooh. Didn't taper for this, so I've done all my interval sessions this week and uh, feeling it in the legs properly now. So we're 6.75k in, nearly 7k, then just 3k. Hey, Max, how are you feeling, Mr. Pacer? Yeah. Feeling great? It's, uh, it's a little tough, but we're sticking going on. Yeah. 45 minutes later. What's your name? Dave. Dave. Dave got his 10k PB the other day. So uh, yeah, we can all thank Dave for doing another 10k. Oh, just for us, 45 minutes. Go on, Laura, you got this. Woo, a hill. What? No one signed up for this. under the 45 minute mark even for a bit longer than 10k so yeah. super happy super tired let's find dave dave thank you smash it how did you find it yeah good in the end did nice you get to see it? everyone just get past me yeah definitely leave you in the, dust, in the dust yeah um what distance did you get 30 meters short on my gps 30 meters short yeah. i got 70 meters over okay we'll see yeah <laughs> 
Oh well. Thank you very much. Cheers. Much appreciated. Just before it goes off my watch, I would just want to get this. 10.07 kilometers in 44 minutes and 4.22 per kilometer. That, if it is just over 10K, probably would be a PB. <laughs> Which, considering I'm on my third week of training after three months off, it's good news for me. But I need to check the official distance because I'm, it's, it's really tight. But either way, I'm delighted with that. Really, really happy. I start, started to struggle breathing around like 7K in. So yeah, I just had to like settle it a little bit and then really happy. So I'm just waiting for my friends now and then I'll upload that to Strava to see what Strava says. Cause if it's on Strava, it's a thing. <laughs> oh dear. Dear, say hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> so I just got back home. Unfortunately, the results don't seem to be live yet. So I'm not gonna take you through my little race uh, goodie bag. So I've got a Cliff Bar, very nice, and Kind Bars, those things are incredible. Tenzing, which I love, it's like caffeine, but tastes really good. That, which I'm quite excited about, because all oh, my joints always hurt, so they don't really. Sometimes they do. When I'm doing ultra training, they do. And a water bottle and a t-shirt. So I actually messaged the Bristol 10K people. Oh yeah, and my medal. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually messaged the Bristol 10k people to say like can there be an option for you not to get a t-shirt because there was not online when you register and there are loads of great organizations at the moment that allow you to plant a tree for example instead of getting a t-shirt or make a charity donation instead of getting a t-shirt because the truth is that if you do lots of races and I guess a lot of you guys will then you don't really need all the t-shirts and like granted you can run in them or you can make them into a quilt or a blanket or whatever but at the end of the day it's a kind of averagely made t-shirt that um, you're probably not going to wear or at least a good proportion of the people won't wear it so I think every race should have an opportunity to tick a box that says actually I don't really want a t-shirt and um, I just want a medal so I said at the finish line can I just get a medal and not get a bag and they said you either get the bag with the medal in it or you have nothing and I was like I probably should have just taken nothing to be honest but I needed some water and um, I wanted the food and I definitely wanted the medal so very happy that I've got this, but it's something that I hope more races are taking on board. But generally I thought the organization was brilliant for that event. The signposting was excellent, obviously because it's such a big road race, I didn't spend any time alone and I do spend a lot of time alone in my trail races. So in terms of being pushed along by the crowd, it was perfect. And there were the cheerleaders, there was like a marching band, there was drums, there were just people almost the entire way around the route. And what they say about like you being kind of swept along in the crowd is absolutely true. My last road race, oh, I don't even know when it was. I've only done one road 10K before, and that was five weeks after I did Tokyo Marathon back in 2018, I think it was. 2018, 2019, a long time ago, pre-COVID, which feels like a different lifetime, but certainly not any time recently. So it is, that it has its pros, for sure. It has its perks, and I'm definitely not a road gal, but I'm really happy with how that went. The official results are not live yet, but when they are, I'm gonna stick them here. So that is my baseline 10K pace at the moment because I only started training for this round of faster stuff less than three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. So this will be basically my untrained kind of speed. We will see what I can get in seven, seven to eight weeks time. And if we can get a bit of a faster time, cause that's kind of what I'm going for. But this is my fastest official 10K race time. My fastest unofficial 10K race time is 43, 11, no, sorry, 43, 40 or 43, 42, I think or 4343, something like that, which was in a track session that I did. I'm gonna see if I can find it so I can show you guys, but it was in a track session that I was doing after training for my 5K time trial. So it's not exactly an official run. So um, yeah, this is my fastest official one, regardless of the time, because I don't think it was slower than 4518, which is 
my previous fastest time. Anyway, that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a good impression of what the event is like. It was really fun. I'm so glad I did it. When I got up this morning, I absolutely did not want to get out of bed. It's sometimes difficult to drag yourself out, but usually a good thing to do. And as soon as I started running, I was like, oh no, this is what I needed actually. I kind of needed to get out and just get going. And it was such a beautiful morning and everyone was lovely and everyone was so friendly and cheered the whole way round. Um, it's just kind of a feel good thing to do. They have a half marathon as well. So if you're ever tempted, definitely check it out because it is a good race and um, kind of shows you some lovely parts of Bristol. And it's flat, which Bristol isn't. So that's always nice. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Come and find me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm trying to do more TikToks. It's not going very well. Don't forget to subscribe. There are lots more vlogs coming your way, lots more races coming your way, and I'll be sharing all of it, of course, on here. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.